Rivera, and I'm here with Chris and with Amy. Uh, we're going to be talking to you all about our Fabric Cloud Router, which just launched about a week or two ago. And uh, yeah, so thanks for both of you. Let's just uh, get this started. Let's let's talk about uh, our new FCR. Uh, I, I guess I'll I'll start with Chris, <laughs> right? Hi. Okay. We have a Fabric Cloud Router now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's here. Let it's, me see. If oh, I can it's, I've been waiting for this for a while. So, like, uh, we'll get into the differences with Network Edge for later. But like, um, we have this Network Edge project which lets you leverage the power of Fabric and interconnect a bunch of things and have one router hub in the center of it. And I've always wanted something just slightly easier for simple use cases. And FCR seems to be that thing. And so I'm excited that this is finally out now. Yeah. So I mean, like, what you get with FCR is a real router uh, sitting at the center of the clouds. So because our Equinix Fabric product sits, is connected, heavily connected to all of the major clouds, we have this routing capacity there that we are um, offering in FCR that allows customers to do high bandwidth um, transit across Fabric links while using kind of like first class routing features like BGP, BGP filtering, um, and a lot of things that people expect from a first-class router experience. Mm. Uh, now, we have, I guess, another uh, sort of product that's called Network Edge. So mm -hmm. really quick, let me just go through uh, some of the talking points of like, why would you use Fabric Cloud Router instead of Network Edge? So one of the, and I'm not going to go through all, through all four, but just like one example would be like, um, you know, uh, so so do so so do do you have any in-house vendors uh, that have like very like specific skills to manage and to maintain your routing devices? So things like that is like if the answer is no or yes, that's when. And if the answer is yes, then you would use Network Edge. And if it's no, then you, yeah, you would come over. Well, to I think Fabric that's Cloud, one way to, to guide, right? But I think the clear difference is with Fabric Cloud Router, you have fewer choices to make in fewer configurations, make you get a product that if you were doing intercloud traffic, just works out of the box. You can configure it over APIs, you can provision it over APIs, it comes up and starts doing its job. Whereas Network Edge allows so much deep customization of that experience that the the setup takes a little, it's a little bit more like setting up a classic network device. Whereas Fabric Cloud Router is kind of more, I don't even really like this term, but more cloud native and just kind of the way that you consume it and use it. Okay. Um, and, and so here, what, and so what I'm showing is just the different service tiers on the screen right here as both of you were talking. Um, and it's just this here, uh, this is just for, I guess, so, some of the yeah, uh, so, trials. Well, you the should bottom. probably explain, we have a lab tier. So like if people don't want to spend money and get, get going on mm. like trying to configure these things there's a lab tier where you can set up up mm -hmm. to i think three devices on a lab tier account yeah that's what it says here yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it, it's kind of a relatively new offering for equinix is to have these lab offerings so you can kind of work out your config before committing all the money mm. right. yeah um and and so just so people know in order to get started you would just go to fabric.equinix.com mm -hmm. is that is that correct yeah. Yeah. That's where everything is, right? Yeah. Well, other <laughs> yeah. than metal. Yeah. Sure. Uh so uh so Amy, you wanted to talk about this lab tier or uh, I feel like that I cut you off. No, I, oh, I okay. was just kind of agreeing with you. It's really mm -hmm. cool that we did that. Yeah. So it seems like almost like a very good entry level thing that you know, if you weren't ready to launch, you know, uh, a bigger operation, you could just jump in, create a lab. And then just try and uh, I guess like just get your feet wet. Is that correct, Chris? Uh, I, that's my impression of it. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. They yeah. <laughs> the you know I've I have staff access, so I, I kind of don't use it myself. But uh, <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the the other thing I would like to point out is where can people find some documentation on this product? Ah, funny that you should mention that. In fact, what what I can do is I can add a link to that below. Yeah. But uh, I can actually show the, the the documentation. It would be over at docs.equinix.com, and then uh, within there you can search in the interconnection directory, uh, and then there you would have the Fabric cl Cloud Router. Let me actually fi uh, fire that up really quick. And we got a video uh, kind of going over the the top level use cases, um, and yeah, uh, it's not too bad to get going. I set this up this morning. Um, 
And really the, the hardest part is BGP configuration, which is kind of always the hardest part uh, lately with cloud networking setups, at least in my experience. Um, and I was very, I was very happy to see how similar to like kind of the the cloudy router setups the Fabric Cloud router has to like Amazon or Google or whoever your your preferred vendor of choice is. So I think they did a good job nailing down to like the interface to be something that you should be pretty familiar with. So now you can get that over that here. That was a big the, goal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know, this is the same page as before. <laughs> let, let, let me. Uh, let me. Well, <laughs> so anyway, it's so it's this video. This video has a lot of good info. Some of the stuff that I mentioned before about like, you know, if you had any kind of like on-prem staff. Um, but anyway, so this this video just, it's called a spotlight of our Fabric Cloud Router. It just gives you a quick four or five minute kind of walkthrough of what is, what is Fabric Cloud Router and then uh, just like an on-ramp to get you started. So that's what, that's what this is. You can walk through it. Um, and so what, what were, I guess, some wanna, of the, do you want to share my screen Walt, and we can see what kind of looks like in the interface or is uh, oh, sure. you're not equipped for that this morning? No, no, I'm good. Go ahead and share and share, share your screen. Uh, and then we will, um, let's see if I can make that happen. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. That looks like it. Let's do this. There we go. Let's I'm sharing. I'm sharing right now. Perfect. I hope you can read it. Mm, it's very wide. Go. Very, very <laughs> wide. Super <laughs> ultra 60 inch wide. Yeah. I'm sorry. Just Four inches tall, <laughs> 60 inches wide. Is it readable at least? Um I'm hoping you can see it. Like uh, so I've made a I've made a fabric crowd router and it just kind of you know, right here on fabric, you know, if you just go to fabric, you see, hey, look at this fabric page with the world and where all your ports and connections are you go down to cloud router you can make one here um i'll just go ahead and uh go back to the one i had opened up do, 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 do. <laughs> and uh that's this one here and we can see i've got it it's provisioned and uh you don't see much about it because it, it just kind of does its job that's the whole point is we're trying to simplify it right so um you can see i've got a couple connections that i've helpfully given unhelpful names but one of these goes to <laughs> one cloud one of them goes to the other and uh they're up and running and you can get in here that's with their bgp connection details and all that and uh you can see utilization stats once uh you know once they've had time to aggregate so pretty pretty straightforward pretty easy i think and uh i just i i just like the simplicity um but that's what it looks like um kind of like exactly what you'd expect it to look like but uh yeah and uh oh i haven't done that yet so I don't have those, but uh, all right, cool. So that's all I got for you on that. But I wanted you to see it, like, so you could prove it. Like, yeah, it exists. It's a, it's a thing. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. That's actually very. It's, that's very helpful. Um, and just so that people know, like, all of this new like documentation and all of these tutorials and things are like still like that. I mean, it's live, but we're still trying to like get it all in order. So mm -hmm. as more of this kind of info com comes out. Um, you know, you'll be seeing updates to the docs and to the YouTube channels and everything else. And of course, you know, like the like LinkedIn page and all, which has a lot of good information too. Yeah. Yeah, we really wanted to get it in the customer's hands, like even earlier than we did. So like, because we're just very excited about the use cases it opened up and the problems it solves for customers. And that's what we're finding as people start trying it out is like, there's just a huge class of problems that customers have been doing the hard way where they would, you know, in some cases, they would even go as far as provisioning colo cages to put their own routing gear in to do so that they could get some of the power that they get from FCR, especially in very high bandwidth use cases. So we're, we're just really excited about the simplification and the kind of problems that customers will be able to solve with it. And I don't, I don't know if I get to do this, but like, we're, we're not stopping there. Can I talk yeah, a little bit tell about us that where, journey? Yeah, where are you going? Yeah. Yeah, because like Fabric started a while ago, you know, our first entry, like the it is the the world's most popular interconnection product as far as I know. And the um in with in that product has matured really well. We added network edge. We have that there that can run vendor firewall products and and, and router products in software. And we have now we have FCR, which makes that multi-cloud experience much better by providing a kind of router in a box over an API experience. 
But as you mentioned, Chris, like setting up BGP is really hard because you have to understand so much about not just BGP itself. You have to understand layer three networking, layer two networking. Um, you have to understand a lot about how routers make their decisions and things. You have to know what AS numbers are and like why they're significant. There's just a lot of knowledge that the general developer, even a lot of systems administrators and SREs don't really have on tap. Um, so like most of the people that are provisioning cloud resources today and, and building cloud architectures are, are struggling to solve these problems when, when we get this deep into the network configuration. It's just, it's hyper complex. Mm. And so we think we can do a little bit better again. And so that's, that's what we're building next is a, a multi-cloud networking service that, that takes that, that experience a little bit further and, and maybe automates a lot more of it. I can't talk too deeply about it, right? Cause it's not released yet, but like the, this is where we're thinking we're moving forward to, to really think deeply about how we can help customers make their multi-cloud experience just like automatic and simple. And so they don't necessarily need to have that super deep domain expertise that they need today to consume the products. Amy, you brought up the perfect segue. I'm going to share my screen really quick. So this is a use case by a company that's called mm -hmm. Prosimo. They wrote a blog post here as well yeah. as a LinkedIn post all about like using like FCR and like how it's changed them uh, yeah. or how it's helped them. So great stuff here. Uh, they go into, you know, into it's a more good depth. product. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, when I mentioned about your segue down here at the very bottom, this is a pretty extensive uh, post. Uh, where can I find it? Oh, uh, here. They talk about one-click multi-cloud networking here. And so then they, they start getting into the weeds of, you know, what's next for the company, how's it going to work with like multi-cloud networking. And so they, they, they kind of touch upon some of those, uh, I guess, like of those like use cases that you were just talking about. So mm -hmm. this idea of like, um, um, of Fabric Cloud Router and multi-cloud networking going hand in hand and almost being like, mm -hmm. you know, two steps, you know, like first step, second step, third step being like month one, month two, month three. Mm -hmm. um, they, you know, they, 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 they talk about those exact, those exact things here. I'll put a link exactly, to yeah. this article in the video description for those who, who want to watch or read it. Amy, uh, I'm sorry, I, I cut you off. No, I was just agreeing with you heartily. The, the, the Prosimo experiments is pretty cool. Um, and, and we are working closely with them to, deepen that relationship and, and make things just easier for customers. And, and Fabric Cloud Router is one of those components where most of the folks building multi-cloud products today have some kind of software router, almost all of them, right? Like our, our, they'll give you like a VM you can run in the cloud or they're using the in-cloud resources. Um, some of them are like Prosimo and Cilium are using eBPF routers. So like they inject code into the Linux kernel and do routing there. Sometimes they have a gateway. Um, the components like across these products are very similar. Um, but the part that they don't have is a thing that's unique to FCR, which is like a very high speed router that can actually handle the full bandwidth that's kit that fabric is capable of. Mm -hmm. And so like what we are talking to many vendors in this space about like how we can use a fabric cloud router to make their product stronger. And so here, I, I guess that, that this graph is kind of perfect in, in the sense of like, you know, these two work with like all these companies just around the world in different like geographic locations or in different products and services here. So whether it's WordPress or Jenkins or whatever. This is cool. Um, okay, so I mean, we're we're sort of of like of like up against it. Uh, are there any, I guess maybe like, you know, like closing thoughts or anything to kind of, you know, direct people to go check out or anything that maybe you wanted to mention about Final Cut? about Final Cut, about, uh, about Fabric Cloud, Cloud Router, the <laughs> FC, it's like the same yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> product name. Um, but yeah, okay. Well, I guess we already talked about the lab tier, right? Like I think for folks who are solving multi-cloud problems, especially if you're already a user of Fabric, um, then it's easy mode, right? Like you already have Fabric connections, bringing up a couple more Fabric connections, trying this out, it's pretty straightforward. Um, but even for people who aren't, like when you're running when you're dealing with like really high egress fees and you're looking for a way to start moving traffic in more intelligent ways, I think we've this has really kind of launched us into a space where we can start to solve some of those problems and give customers options to do do private link with an FCR and connect their clouds and maybe cut some of those egress costs back. And I think that's like the most ex exciting opportunity ahead for a lot of kind of more direct customers who are building cloud architectures. And then I think we'll see over the next uh, 
year or two, like as this product matures and as more people integrate it, we'll see all of the multi-cloud, the, the world of multi-cloud solutions it also get stronger and um, offer more options to our customers. Very cool. Okay. Uh, Chris, anything? I, that's exactly what I would recommend. Like, yeah, yeah, same. Uh, Amy I, hit I, it. I, that's it. <laughs> no, same. I, I'm, I'm with Amy. Just if to get started, fire up a lab tier and you have up to three here, it says. Um, three lab tier cloud router per per cloud routers per organization. Uh, and then you can just get started as like a playground and just, uh, I guess, you know, figure it out. So, all right, cool. Um, so on that front, uh, I will just say, uh, thanks for, for all, for all those who are watching and to find out more about this, you can just go to, um, to the video description below and all these links that we talked about here and everything that Amy and that Chris talked about, um, will be all there as well as the docs and, uh, other videos to watch. So that's it. Um, so, okay. So thanks to Chris Pervetier and to Amy Toby. And uh, hey, you're, you, uh, you two are welcome back anytime. Great. All right.